Number one, feasibility and planning. Conduct studies, select the site and obtain permits. Then site preparation, clear the land, level it, set up temporary facilities, basic and detailed engineering are going to occur here most likely. Third, the engineer. We're going to be creating PFDs, PNIDs, and finalize the designs for the given site. Fourth, the procurement. Source, inspection, deliver materials and equipment in a timely manner. Fifth, foundation and civil work. Build the foundations and structural supports for our unit operations, for the piping systems and utility systems. Sixth, the equipment installation. We're going to erect and align the machinery like reactors and tanks. Seventh, we're going to get started with the pipeline and utilities installation. You can see, we're going to get started with pipes, utilities, supports, and connections. Electrical and instrumentation. All power systems, instrumentation, control panels, computers, and such are going to be installed in this step. Nine will be the commissioning. We need to get started with the actual testing of the system, cleaning the equipment, and ensure that it's working properly. After that, the final step will be the startup and handing over to the client. The startup is essentially running the initial production, train the staff, and finalize the documentation to deliver it to the final customer.